Hi, my name is Ben, and in this video I wanted to showcase how to use AstroFox, which is a free and open source uh, program, to create podcast audiograms. Now, audiograms are essentially a version of a audio file that presents like a moving waveform, so you can present a MP3 file on uh, platforms such as YouTube in a video format that can be engaging for listeners. I'll show a brief example of what this looks like from uh, the YouTube account that this is being hosted on, which looks like this. So this is a trailer for one of our podcast episodes. And if we play with the sound muted, you'll see that it plays a basically an MP3 file, but it's playing it with the waveform uh, shown as well. So this can be engaging for uh, some podcast listeners that like to listen on YouTube or other platforms and like to see the audio as it goes. So in this video, I'll be showcasing how to do that. Now, first of all, we want to download the software uh, AstroFox, which you can see and uh, get from the link that's shown here. I'll also include some links in the comments section below. So what you want to do is you want to download it for your platform first. And for this, I'm going to be using it on Windows 64-bit. So we're going to be directed here to go download. And that started here on this browser. And we'll let this one complete. And if you have any concerns about the files itself, this is also hosted. The entire source code is on GitHub. So you can follow this by clicking download source and you can look at the uh, changes and everything that's been committed. So as the time of this release, the last release of the software was version 1.4.0, which was in April, 2022. Um, so you can monitor this uh, GitHub if you want to see if there are any future updates that are released in the future. Otherwise you can just continue with the uh, version that's available on the website. So with this downloaded, we can take a look and we can try and run the executable to run setup. And we'll let that run its install. Okay, with the uh, install completed, we're now loaded into the main Astro Fox uh, user interface. And um, I just wanted to showcase that there are a lot of, I guess you could say bells and whistles of different features and settings and stuff that you can change around. Uh, the purpose of this video is to not go through every single bit feature and bit and piece and everything that is available. I want to show a very quick and easy way for you to get up and running with uh, audiograms, like what we use for the channel. So for that purpose, what I've going to include in the uh, description below is a link to any pre-existing template file, which you should be able to use a, 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 a little bit of as a reference point. So what we can do is we can go open project. I can see here under C uh, AstroFox, I've got a project.afx file. And if I click to open this one, it might take a moment or two for it to actually load all the contents, but once it loads, we can uh, take a look and see what the uh, the settings that it's imported are uh, currently. Okay, so it's now imported the file. Um, I did want to cover something off the bat. So we can say that this looks to be a little out of place in terms of having some uh, cut off the top and bottom. Now, this is because this particular image that I use is actually 1500 by 1500, which we can see here. Um, but I actually show this as a 1000 image. So we scroll down a little bit. So we get to the image, we can actually see that I'm showing this as a 1000 by 1000 pixel image. So what I'll do just to fix that up is I'm just going to change this to 1001 and then press tab. Change that back to a thousand and it works just like that. Now what we can do is um, we can uh, basically add an audio file that we want to use for the waveform or for the audiogram. And then we'll be able to take a look and make sure that we're happy with all the settings. So what we'll do is we'll go to file, we'll go to load audio. And again, for this example, still in the C Astro Fox folder, I've got a short MP3 file called SOS trailer. We're going to click open and we're going to give the program a minute Here's to load a sneak the peek of the new Tales from Trentor campaign. So we can see that it's Students automatically started it. playing the audio, which is bad for me for the purpose of the video. But it's okay. What I'll do is I'm just going to bring this volume down so that we don't have to hear me talking over me. And if I click play, we'll actually see that it's showing the waveform as the video goes along. Now, this might be a little bit slow just because of the amount of resources that I have available on this particular computer at the time of recording. But we can see that it's playing the audiogram um, as we're expecting. Um, as it goes along, um, there are sort of segments here that show uh, as it's going for periods of where it, like the waveform sort of spikes and whatnot. So we can see where there's like a lot of audio activity uh, going along from there. So assuming that we're happy with the file, what we can basically do is we'll just pause that. We can go here, we can go to file and we can go to save a video. And this is now going to bring up a window asking, basically prompting us where would we like to save the video to, make sure we have the audio file and there are some encoder and quality settings as well. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to in the same location, see AstroFox, 
let's say that I'm going to create an MP4 file, but I'm going to call it the same thing as well. So it's going to be SOS trailer as the file name. I might have to specify as actual MP4 like that. So MP4, the audio file that we've imported is MP3. And we have a few options as well, depending on our encoder settings. So uh, I typically just default to X264. I leave the quality as medium, which is more than enough for YouTube. And the frames, uh, the FPS, I usually set to 24, but you could set to something different based on your CPU resources and uh, what sort of quality or what sort of image quality you want uh, for YouTube. So I'm gonna let this run, I'm gonna click start and we'll come back and we'll look at the uh, video file once it's completed. Okay, so we're back a little bit later after that's had some time to complete uh, its rendering. Uh, again, this is entirely dependent on the amount of uh, CPU that your computer has available. So on the machine that I'm recording this, it's not as great, so it did take a little bit of time. Um, once it's complete, which you'll actually see, uh, which is sort of a little section that appears below the video, um, is it'll tell you once it's completed and you can take a look at the final output, which if we look at this uh, video here, is this MP4 file, and if we load this up, it should come up and should load our full video. Here's a sneak peek of the new Tales from Trantor campaign, Students of Strixhaven. Again, I'll just turn this down so that we're not hearing me over me, but we can see that the full output is essentially our uh, MP3 file with the image and waveform generated just like this. Um, now, as well, for the purpose of the demonstration, many people that are trying to create waveforms uh, or sort of audiograms might want to be using a 1920 by 1080 image, and that's totally fine. That's okay. So what we can see here down here is 1920 by 1080, which is what we call the canvas size. So that's what essentially AstroFox is trying to work with. If we wanted to change that, for example, set it to a lower value, we could go to edit canvas and we could change the size of it to whatever we wish. We're gonna leave this as 1920 by 1080 for now. Um, but what we can do is if we load an image that is that size, we should see it actually gets dropped in quite nicely. So let's go 1920 by 1080. Give it a moment to load. You can see it's fairly nicely actually just dropped everything into the 1920 just like that. Um, so similarly, it's gonna keep the waveform as it is. So we try and press play, we should see it overlay just like that. And that's a pretty good size and location as well for, uh, for what we're looking for. So um, that's essentially it for this video. So again, I didn't want to go into the depths of all the different settings for AstroFox. There's definitely a lot of good videos out there from people that use AstroFox more for music videos and whatnot. So I recommend checking those out if you want to understand the details of every single bit and piece. But for the time being, if you're looking to get started with audiograms, I definitely recommend checking out the example project.afx file I'll include in the links below. And that should help you get started with creating audiograms for your podcasts. I hope this has been very informative and uh, if you liked the video please consider liking this as well as checking out our podcast episodes and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for some more uh, tips and tricks on creating podcast content. Thank you.